Hey YouTube, Stampede 19 here. I have the uh, rustler, and uh, today I'm going to show you how to uh, change out the servo saver. Uh, running the uh, truck at the track, and the servo saver did its job. Uh, got into a tough jump, landed on the front wheel, and tried to steer back into a turn. And if you can see in the video. I'm not turning anymore. The uh, servo is not moving anymore. The cap inside the servo saver right here is stripped out, so I have no steering anymore. All right. Okay, guys. Let's get started. We're going to be removing these two screws right here and the two up front. I just want to wiggle this up a little bit. And there are two posts that you have to worry about. They drop in. I don't know if you can see that in the camera, but they drop into the bottom of the chassis. Okay. We just need to get access to this screw right here. Okay, you want to try not to disturb anything else if you don't if you can uh, help it at all. Just less for you to do later on. On my truck, I'm using a high-tech Metal Gear Servo. Okay. I'm just basically gonna pop that off. So now what's gone on here is that this gear is okay and here is okay but what's happened is the this cap basically has stripped out I don't know how well you can see that in the camera focus but it's stripped out in here okay and the best way you can see that let's see if we can zoom in for you okay See all the dirt on the uh, come on, focus, focus. Let's pull out a little bit. There we go. See the white powder? That's just the plastic being worn off the uh, cap that goes on. Okay, if you're using uh, Traxxas, um, you're going to look for a number two on the new one. Okay. I'm not using Traxxas parts. I like to buy servo saver from a company called Kimbro. Okay, this is the kit. It gives you 23, 24, and 25 spline, and that's for Fatuba. 23 is typically Fatuba, 24 is typically high tech, and 25 spline is typically Airtronics. So on this one here, we're going to use a 24. All right, and that should just fit right on there. It should go on nice and smooth, not loose. There you go. Okay, nice and smooth. Now let's just test fit. Let me back the camera out a little bit. There we go. Let's test fit this. Let's see how well it goes on. Okay. Feels good. Okay. Now the trick is put it back in the truck, and we may have to make an adjustment or two to get the steering centered where we want it. Okay. 
Remember I said before there are posts at the bottom. Basically those are the screws for the bell crank. You want to make sure those get right down back into the chassis. Okay. Now we're going to have to power it up to see how well the servo is centering. Break out the radio. Switched it to the rustler. Let's throw a pack on. The radio set where we want it. Okay. Steering is centered on the radio, but she's off a little bit. So we're going to have to pull the servo saver off and get it where we want it. This is the pain, only because it's so tough because it's new, it's a little harder to get on and off. Okay. Now, how I like to do it is, I keep the tire up against the edge here, so now the steering is nice and straight. Now we're going to wiggle this guy back on, exactly where we want it. You never get it exact. I mean, that's the whole idea of having trims on your radio. But I like to keep my radio at zero. As with anything else in this hobby, patience is a virtue. And there we go. Nice and straight. Line up the bell crank again in the bottom of the chassis. Make sure you get that centered. There we go. Nice little click there. She's back down nice and solid. Okay, make sure the wire is out of the way. I like to keep tension right here. There's this little piece where you can pinch the servo wire. That just keeps the tension so that the uh, Servo horn doesn't rub the wire. Eventually, it'll cut right through. Oh, hold on. Let's check it out. Oh, popped off. That's good. I'm glad that happened on camera. Shouldn't be testing it like that without the screw. Let's straighten the wheel out again. Okay, right about there is where we want it, if it comes loose. But since we're already here, I'll just tighten it now. Gotta love these high-tech servos. Didn't even Fought me all the way, didn't move the steering a bit while I was turning that screw and cranking it down. The Traxxas servo would have uh, would have started moaning and groaning. Okay, now the screw's in, let's check it out. Very good. And there you go guys. Just put your screws back and you're all set. I hope that was helpful. Uh, with anything, there's uh, some patience and uh, you get the job done. Talk to you soon, guys. Have a good night.